Now we're going to take a minute and talk about differential feed. Differential feed is the difference between the two feed dogs on the machine. Now you're wondering what I mean by the two different sets of feed dogs. Well, on overlockers, you generally get two sets of feed dogs. You get a set in the front and you get a set at the back. The two sets of feed dogs, when the differential feed is set at one, they work both in line and in tune together. So they both move together. Now with overlockers, you have control of the first set of feed dogs. The second set of feed dogs, we don't have control over. That's controlled by the settings of the machine. It's all mechanical and they stay put. Now the rate at which this one goes, we can adjust with this differential feed dial. This one, we can change the distance, not the speed, but the distance it goes. Let me explain what happens. When the differential feed is at one, the feed dogs will work in tune with the second set of feed dogs. So turn the hand wheel towards me and you can see that they work in tune. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to mark the furthest point there at the back and I'm going to mark it over here. And we'll give that the long mark. And we're going to mark where it goes all the way at the other end. And that's just there. That's actually five millimeters. That's how far that feed dog is traveling. Now, if I take the differential feed dial all the way up to two, what's going to happen is half of that distance is going to be added to both sides of the distance it's traveling. So watch how far it goes. So it should go another about two and a half millimeters, which it does. So I can mark just there and keep going and then you'll see about two and a half millimeters travel there. So it's going further. So what happens is some more fabric will get pulled into the machine as it turns. So if I reduce the differential feed dial all the way down to 0.7, that's going to travel even less. So if I turn the hand wheel, so the furthest back it goes is there and it travels even less forward. Now these are very rough lines, but basically what's happened is you can see that increasing the differential feed makes the front feed dogs go further and making the differential feed lower makes the front set of feed dogs travel less. So less fabric is gonna go fabric into it. And that's for fabrics that are gentle and fragile and you don't really want to damage them. So I'm going to grab a fabric that's easy to demonstrate on and I've got a nice chiffon here and chiffon is going to react really easily to the differential feed so it's better to demonstrate it on. So I'm going to go all the way up to two. The feed dogs on the front are going to go further. What that means is it's going to pull in a lot more fabric than the second set of feed dogs be able to cope with. And because of that, it's going to give that car crash effect where there is just a big pile of fabric just coming in, coming in, and the second set of feed dogs can hardly cope with it. So what happens is we should end up with something like a gather. So let's go with that. And there you go. So you can see there, we've created a nice gather there. That was really simple to do. And you can do that on other fabrics as well, but it has to be non-stretch. Now, so I'm going to set the feed dogs back to one and I'm going to feed the fabric through. Still have some gather in there. And the reason is, is this fabric is very lightweight and sheer. It's a loose weave fabric. And because it's so loose and light, the feed dogs are being heavy handed with the fabric and they're forcing the fabric to go through and the fabric is struggling to keep up. So what we'll do is we'll reduce the feed dogs a bit more. And there we have it. Now this machine only allows the differential feed to go right down to 0.7. Some machines go down to 0.5, um, which will be even better because you can still see a few gathers in there. But you might choose to have three thread on this, which is something we can do next. And that will be in the next video.